do you think your skills from your previous qualification will help you in your apprenticeship? I studied uh, fine art at Hertford Regional College. Um, I learned a lot of creativity uh, with design, but I really wanted to combine that with a business aspect. So it was a perfect opportunity for me to showcase sort of and uh, add in my creativity with that. What are you most looking forward to doing during your apprenticeship? I'm most looking forward to being part of the team uh, here at Hartford Regional College, but also learning all about uh, the marketing sector and all the different skills uh, that it takes to be good. How has your apprenticeship helped you get started in your career? Um, it's made a big difference because the way that I look at things is um, education is kind of a ticket to a career, whereas an apprenticeship is actually in a career. So it makes a big difference and I've already got work, extra work on the weekends with one of my friends who set up his own business in plumbing. So it, it's, it aids a big, it's an easier way of getting into a career you want to get into. How has your employer supported you through your apprenticeship? Uh, my employer has been very supportive throughout the whole process of my apprenticeship. From when I was doing my A-levels, he was always, and when things weren't going very well, he was always there to have a chat. And it was actually him that suggested doing my plumbing course through Hartford Regional and also at CK because he was here 11 years ago with exactly the same course and he's always got my back when I'm doing any projects at work. I've got another guy that's also done a plumbing course who are always very supportive and encouraging uh, in any bit of work that I do. They give me free roam to go and they actually trust me to go and do stuff which is the best part of having a decent employer. What was your friendship like? My apprenticeship taught me so much, it was really fun and yeah, I learned so much, even like things about how to be confident, like I would be scared to call up and then I remember my first day Sophie was like, can you bring up and get some quotes on this? And my first thought I was like, no, <laughs> no I don't want to do that, but obviously when you're doing an apprenticeship you can't say, you can't think oh, I don't want to do that, so you just have to. And even things like that, I just learned so much even in confidence. What was a typical day for you like as an apprentice? What were you responsible for? Um, I had to. I was responsible for our social media. I had to ensure that we had at least one post out every day, and I was also responsible for the financial side, just overseeing it day to day. And I also helped to, to organise events within the college, which was really fun. Would you recommend doing a bricklaying apprenticeship to other students thinking about doing one? Yes, I would. It's a good trade, especially in the future, and you make some nice money. How did you find out more about apprenticeships before enrolling? On the Hot HRC website, I had a look on there and it showed give me everything I needed to, um, to, to get involved. What are the highlights of your apprenticeship so far? Uh, learning new skills and also my employer. He's given me everything I need and to progress to where I need to go. Also the college, the theory side of it and the practical. And what do you enjoy most about your apprenticeship? Um, like being in a like, relaxed environment, martial learning is on site. It's a lot of like, rush work and everything needs to be done by a certain time. And if you're not quite there, and up to standard, it's, it's quite, you know, it can be quite stressful. But in here, you just lay back and relax, really. Where would you like to be in two years' time? Um, hopefully working for myself, event, well, hopefully in two years, if not, on a site and up to standard, ready to, you know, get my own work and push through myself, really. How did you find out about your friendship? Um, well, some of our pals from school that were in older years went on to do electrics and just was interested in it from there really so. Where would you like your apprenticeship to take you career wise? Uh, hopefully one day I would like to open up my own restaurant uh, in the future. Um, for now really enjoying working in a smaller kitchen. Um, it's like a good learning experience. Maybe move into a bigger kitchen, a bigger restaurant, get sort of progress myself and then eventually just see where it takes me. Hopefully a restaurant one day but just have to see how it goes. What traits make a good apprentice? Uh, hard working. The, uh, the common trait with an apprentice is they're hungry for knowledge. They just, as soon as they walk in the door, they want to learn, learn, learn and get as much out of a session and a day as they can. Why do you think apprentices stand out from other students? What gives them the edge? I think um, there's a few things, but um, mostly they've shown commitment um, because they've, they've actually completed an apprenticeship. So they've been in the workplace for however long, so it might be a year, it might be four years. Um, that's quite a bit of commitment um, to an employer. Um, you've also got, um, as well as qualifications, you've got um, practical skills that people who have just got the qualifications haven't got. And I think that's, that's the, the main thing.